opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. Cxd5 opens up the center, after black recaptures with nxd5, white is prepared to answer with e2-e4. Nxd5 recaptures the d5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. e4 takes full control of the center and attacks the knight on d5. Nxc3 trades the attacked knight, and gives white a large center that black will attempt to attack. Bxc3 recaptures the knight and supports the d4 pawn. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. BE3 develops the bishop toward the center and supports the d4 pawn. C5 takes space in the center, attacks the d4 pawn, and tempts white to capture the c5 pawn after which black can play bxc3+, forking the white king and rook. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is best. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to attack a trapped queen. It is best. This stops the opponent from being able to attack a trapped queen. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This captures a vulnerable pawn. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is good. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This places a rook on the seventh rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a rook. It is an inaccuracy. Takes back. It is best. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is best. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is best. This threatens to win a pawn. It is best. There were worse moves but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is good. 
This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is good. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is best. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is excellent. This is the way to win a pawn. It is best. This blocks the attack on a knight that could have been captured. It is best. This wins a pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is excellent. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. Right on target. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is forced. This is the strongest option. It is best. This steps away from the checking knight. It is best. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best.